Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Lutra campaign. We're picking up for episode 20 from turn 91 in the winter season of 200. So, it's a sad winter. Uh, we have lost Huang Fu Song, uh, who was our rank 9 general, age 69. What a good way to go out. Uh, he had all our capture equipment, I believe, so we're going to have to swap that on to someone else. And our main goal here is to wipe out Cao Cao. That's our number one priority so we have one army coming through the mountains here very difficult track uh, which is a little bit of an issue uh huang guy picking up wait he didn't pick up the spear who picked up the spear oh right we gave it to the emperor's brother uh that makes perfect sense let's see we could have him use the yellow hoof thunder for capture patience plus level eight um, pretty good combo. We also have Huang Fusong's bow, uh, which also makes sense on us. Uh, we could switch to the Warter set here for extra four public order, switch the bow to someone else. Let's see what we can do here. So you, poor kid, pick up the wall. Hmm. His level is too low, so he's definitely not going to become our capture general. We have Talon's army in the back here. I don't know what to do with that one. Uh, Liu Bu probably will also not pick up that combo. He might pick up this for double warrior combo, plus 8 public order. It means we can raise taxes, basically. Luo Jun can... well, he can't. He's heir, so he can't actually go for that either. Basically, we can't give up like this sloth or shaman item. See, she's level 7. No pacifist, which would be really, really good. Uh, perceptive, not pacifist. No, no perceptive. She does have patience. She's level 7, pretty high level. I can get rid of this item. Uh, it doesn't hurt because she's not commanding anyways. So she can hold shaman and also take the horse and be our capture general. And the horse's resolve and expertise stats good for administrator. And this one's with 10 points XP is also really good for administrator. So that all works out. So I think that's what we're going to do here for her. We're also going to move this army. We don't need that much mustering. Um, given their positioning here, we lost a lot of movement because we had the save game. I know we could have reached that uh, before we ended last episode, now we can't reach that, so that's a little bit annoying. Their force is small, but this is only a level 1. Well, there's two cavalry, so we should be able to hold them if we want to, I guess. Seed weapon, but... Hmm. How much do we want to loop? That's the question. I don't want to chase them around. We're going to just come down here and start crushing actual enemies and if we lose territory we'll figure something out as a matter of fact if we recruit a few generals here maybe we can discourage him from even trying so we would like to use as our strategist and we can pair him up with Guo Si, we can pair him up with Let's do Yuan Shu first, in case Guo Si doesn't want to work with Yuan Shu, which is the case. And Ren Qi is available. I believe he's also a Baron. Yeah, he's a Baron General as well, so that's also really good. The bad thing is he's only rank 1, so you can't get our cavalry. He will keep the Dong Zhou Bing, I guess. And we're going to recruit... Hmm... We'll stick to our formula. I think this is fine. I, I know we want to see Imperial units, but I don't think this is the place for that. The replenishment will be too slow. I could swap, but right now we need to throw ourselves into a battle, so we're going to go for that off the bat. He's almost at rank 6, so we could have him recruit those as well. We can get mobility, we can get intensity, those would be the necessary boost for cavalry. And that would actually help us out quite a bit there. 
I can pick up this bow. Oh, we only have one classic field. So, so letting Li Wu have that combo and then we just keep the bow until we get another book. That would make the most sense, I guess. Yeah. Um, so we don't recruit anyone else. We just have the range units plus the cavalry plus the towers. That should hold off against them. They can focus down here. I don't know what they have. Okay, now we see it. Uh, that's not much, is it? Yeah, I think they have another army floating across here. Right. Um, we have an army here. They're not at war with us, so we're fine. Do I need to worry about anything else? I don't think so. Yeah, I think we're good. We're gonna come and meet up and help them take this level 9 commandery. Once they finish that, we'll loop together here. We're gonna wait for a rebel spawn here, hopefully. Oh, we have way too much boost. Well, the thing is, population is going to grow, and we're also going to try to upgrade this to get those reforms, and then, you know, we should have rebels spawning that we can double up a fight with them, and that will get our last book, uh, aside from the level 10 leader. That one's kind of insane. Alright, this one, we're moving over here. How fast can we go? So given our food situation, Tang Wu is producing 7 food for us, uh, which is decent, you know, but I think the new plan is we are worried that we will get attacked here. So I'm going to set up this army here. I think I have one more deployment. Can I get another deployment here somehow? Hold on. We can find... Find the right commandery. <laughs> this one. Rush this. And that will give us exactly what we need here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna field them an army. But they need a strategist here. Oh, Chong Yu. Is he willing to spy for us? No. See, it's hard to trust you then, especially since you work for Sun Ce. We might just go with one of them, even they- Oh, Elusive's not bad. So both of these strategies are okay. She's a tad old, but a lot of traits. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna team him up with Yu Jin. And... We'll go with the younger gentleman here. He's a tad old. Is that a... That's a regular crossbow, okay. If it's a Fury of Beihai, then that's a different question. We're one level off, so we'll wait for that. Uh, in the meantime, I have to give away this commandery. Oh, who do we... Oh, let's recruit someone who we just don't want. She can do. Right. Grab her. And the whole reason why we're doing this is because 
that faction that we just created here is not at war with any of our current uh, enemies. So we're actually making this area super safe. Um, so that's kind of the point. And we already spawned two armies, which is really what we needed these southern territories for. Like, I could do the same thing in Poyang if they didn't have a very nice uh, weapon craftsman that I would like to keep. Um, so that's, that's the situation we have. You know, we'll still heal. Although we got bumped out, so we lost mustering. I should have moved them out then. I didn't know getting automatically bumped out will lose your mustering. It will slow us down a little bit, but we should have enough force to just, you know, fight some of these enemies around us here just to maybe grab ourselves a T. But I think I want to go this way, ignore the Naman threat, take this, go that way. I can trade these land to them as well to make them like us more. See, this army no longer threatens anything because they're just not our land anymore. So yeah, uh, that's where we stand. I think that's all the relevant armies. Loyal's now number one. Not surprised since we put so many assignments there. Um, yeah, we're gonna bypass these. Kodong, not interested in upgrading anymore. We got the commerce boost, which is good enough. Fuofeng, let's start upgrading that. I think I'm going to want more industry. Oh. I guess this is income just because um we have a administrator here. Jincheng's also income. Jincheng's administrator. I think this is Huang Fu Song's old job. Or Taiyuan. He was probably a Taiyuan. We have an open position. We actually need someone to take over. Uh, we want to see... Oh, Zhang Wen? Uh, Zhang Wen's old, I know that. But he might be a good choice with Burnt and Ambitious. You just need to rank up properly. Okay, that should do it. Eh, I don't care. Come over here. Boost the industry. There's so much industry here. Xinjiang probably needs one too, but I think I only have one open position left. Yep, yeah, so I'm going to keep that hovering for now because we often need to assign someone on short notice just to give away... Land as vassals. Eleven uh, K is not a lot of money, so I guess we'll just hang on to that. Uh, he's still rather useless. I don't know what to do with him. Nobody really got fired or anything. Ooh, office revoked. Hold on. Uh, why do I have you? If you can't discredit any character. We're gonna disown him. Just not useful at all. This could become useful. Because we're currently at war. Oh, plus 24 defense? He has Zhang Liao, who's quite unhappy, but on the bench, so I can't tell. Oh, Guo Jia as well. Okay, wipe his faction out. If I can annex him, that'd be great. If I can't, that's fine too. She is in this army? Right, she is. So we can probably turn her when we do fight her. But first, we're taking that. Let's uh, continue. I think we're good.
Alright, our vassal wants to fight yellow turbans. Obviously accept. Okay, not against us, so that's fine. Liu Bei even declares war against Liu Bei. Interesting. Oh, hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Liu Bei took this from Lu Kang. Oh, his army sailed down. Oh, wow. Wow. This is unbelievable. Like, how, how, guys, we're, okay, I guess for a guy, 61, it, it's possible, right? It's, it's not impossible. How old is Lady Wu? I mean, it has to be possible because she, oh, she's only 41. Okay, all right, this is, this is reasonable, I guess. Uh, we got an item forged. Huh? A lot of war glaive and glaive at the same time. We got a huge list as well. Let's take a quick look. Why is this pretty good? Hold on, let me get rid of some of these. Uh, not willing to spy for us. She's also not willing to spy for us. She is. So maybe we can hire her to do assignments or something like that. Give her away as administrator. It's always an option. Let's see, how should we deal with Liu Biao? He expanded down south, which is surprising. Oh, oh, right, we haven't declared... <laughs> we haven't declared war yet. That army disappeared. We're gonna take this and probably give it away to a vassal. Not right away, we wanna... Stay inside and heal a little bit, but after we move, we can give this away. I'm not gonna build it up. It, it's too slow to build up. What happened to his army? I'm gonna hang out here instead of finding out. So he's retreated. We lost mustering anyway, so we're moving against them, so we're moving up. Yeah, we can beat them. No big deal. We got the gold. We got Yan Bai Hu's gold weapons here too. On to the capital. Do we reach it this turn? Oh, but only on March. Oh, he's waiting for us. This is good. Oh, he doesn't have food. You see the attrition. No military supplies. What happened to him? Shang Yun really don't care. But if we f go back to it, it'd be a different place. Why not? Uh, not ideal. Hopefully we get Luoyang. That's that's the ideal one. Get the capital. Xiaoyang's not bad. Wudu. Iffy. Come on, give me Luoyang. I believe in you. I can settle for Wudu as well. Huh. Deplete their supplies. Let's fatigue their army. We take their air, we get a character. We make Liu Bei look bad. No, it's fine. We'll take we'll take a character. Maybe some items as well. We're not doing that, we're going to war. No items? Uh, well, you might get Yu Zhang, because I'm giving that away next. Alright, we'll be taking them out next turn. I don't think the mustering is retroactively applied, so that's not going to be handy here. 
I am looking to give him an army. So let's see who we can pair him up with in terms of strategist. I don't remember if she's willing to spy or not. Okay, so she's safe. Not very useful, but she's safe at least, so we can rely on that. Wait a minute, what is this? Chen Royal Guard? Is she a spy? No. Hmm. What level is she? She's level four. Okay. We're gonna make her the frontline general. It's not efficient, but it's okay. Especially since we get one of these. Oh, actually, actually, since we have the Emperor's brother here, we're going to go with the Imperial Army units. So even for him, we're going to go with these. So cheapest unit, have them fully muster up, swap, easiest way to do things. We are going to declare war. That's why that army didn't come and bother us, because we weren't at war yet. Uh, we'll just delegate this. Yeah, Liu Bao definitely didn't see this coming. Um... Yeah, this is a fine route, although... No one- oh, he has reached, so we have the right person leading. We'll keep this. This is a port that's pretty important to us, so we're not giving that away. So I do about realize this a little bit too late. Ah, the Emperor hit rank 5. So now we're... Aiming for... Flexibility? Maybe not. Maybe we don't need that. 10% building upkeep discount faction-wide? That's actually quite a, a bit of money because we have a lot of gate passes. Let's see. Uh, not enough to move the needle? Really? I thought that would be quite a bit. Hmm. Like, each K pass is like 200, 10% is like 20. I, I guess it wouldn't add up to like a K, but we're talking about a couple hundred. I guess you would need to frontline for us, given that we have Juggernaut here. So I guess we will recruit those. They will actually heal up pretty fast. The mustering turn will be increased, so that would help that. Okay, so we have our armies coming out onto the field. Everyone has sort of moved, at least the ones that can move. Now, the question is, how happy are our settlements? Extremely, extremely happy. Look at that happiness. So minus 15 is nothing. Nothing. Yeah, max tax all the way. Alright, Wudu is the one that got the boost, so we can build multiple buildings and we can build them fast, and we will do that. Nanyang. I think I will upgrade this just to get... I don't think I need- uh, actually, I don't think I need more seasonal deployment. I think we're good. Like right now, I think we have like five, which is a pretty healthy amount. Maybe f six. I think I, I upgraded another one last turn. All 
Wow, we're giving this away later, so we're not gonna worry about it. Lupo is just sitting in there for now. Let's see what the division of labor should be. Their army is going to go through here. And then I think I want them to turn this way. So for them, maybe they need to go east. Round this area out. Okay, they're coming down. There's, there's a couple army coming down from here. I'm not going to worry about them at all for now. Might be a mistake, but we'll see. Let's pick up a reform as well. Uh, we were going for the level 5 in, which is not a bad choice, I, but then I thought about maybe we want this. Get these corruption reduction going on over here. And also we need that, you know, tax collection upgrade back in the capital. Yeah, everything was reform locked, so we needed that. Um, work? Good. I mean, I think the only thing we can do is we can like recruit another strategist if there is one. Oh, didn't we get one from um Yeah, we we got one. He's on cooldown. So I don't know if like this Shang like this is this considered adjacent? I don't I think rivers break up adjacency, so that doesn't count. <gasps> These are adjacent, the passes. The passes are adjacent. Okay, I just need to dump a strategist in there to just help the Emperor rank up faster, that's the thing. Alright, I think we're good. Let's continue here. Uh, we're getting hit with our round of... Oh, only one? Jin Xuan got wiped by... <laughs> by Mu Lu, it seems. We have a new enemy. The Emperor's younger brother, Strategist. Strategist, you know what he's doing. Well, we're gonna use this new guy that we picked up, the heir from our vassal. And then there's another pass here. We can cancel one. Incoming Hedong, incoming Luoyang. Building and oh, there's no more building, so she, oh, she's coming back anyways. Uh, but we're gonna put the Emperor's brother here, so there's like 50%, 50%, 50%, 100%, you know, 250% boost to his, you know, experience gain. Hopefully that will help us with leveling up quick enough. Uh, maybe prep her for the battlefield. It seems like we have a shortage of strategists going onto the field. Dong Zhuo has relatives coming of age soon too, huh? Anyways... Administrator Wu Du will be a good administrator. Liu Bao's forces are floating this way. We got an army waiting for them. They showed up again. Oh, big mistake. Hold on, hold on. Before we click here. She's the capture rate general now. Make her lead. No, no, no. Misclick. Make her lead. The display was weird. Uh, we checked, we could reach in one turn, which we, we did eventually. 65%, I don't think we need to actually fight this one. It's not really worth fighting. There's barely any forces there. We just want to get the capture on uh, Xun Yu here. So who is she? Zhong Yu Rei, ah, nobody. Let's just delegate here. Come on. Work for us. Oh. Yes, burn officer. Um, how many items? Administrator of Changsha. Okay, we're employing her. Or we kill her. 
She's decent. That worked really well. Not gonna lie. Okay, flexibility for the faction. Li Bu is gonna go back to leading for movement. I mean, since we came this way, maybe we don't go east. Like, just... Uh, it's two turns. Oh, it's, oh, it's three turns this way. We could march. We barely lost... Oh, that unit lost a ton. Yeah, I guess we go south first. We can always launch another army. They evacuated. They went there. Are you guys gonna try to attack Quay Pass? Cause that's, that feels foolish as well. Wait, you can now use your action against non-deployed characters. Awesome, okay, they patched this. Um, I know it's plus 24 here. Okay, good, there's no defense on that. I was kind of worried about that. I don't have enough to check if Goya is willing to turn, so I'm gonna have to disown her and then check like this. Okay, he's pretty loyal. I can just flip spies. I keep the point that's left over, so that's good. And I know it's plus 24. I could interference. Yeah, I could interference. That way we don't have to, we get more points as well and then we don't have to worry about the plus 24 anymore. It should remove most of it. It should be recorded here, maybe next turn. Anyways. It'd be nice if we could force him to leave with a grudge, then we don't have to like wipe out the faction and end up with that problem. And this becomes a delegate fight. Alright, now for the real question. Do we gain access to more trade route once we have this port? We do. Okay, okay. That's great. That's great news. Oh? This will be Cao Cao's sister. Ah, uh, marry into the Emperor's family? This takes some consideration here. I'm not sure. Oh, and also they married Domin. This complicated a lot of the the brother and sister situation, like the distant relative situation. I don't see Tao on this list. Although they are, they're related. Yeah, this is Tao sister. Hmm. He married Zheng Jiang's lieutenant. Sun Quan's only 11. Sun Quan's single. I guess it doesn't hurt. Cause Tall Tall's clan like there's no Tall Peak 
obviously, because he wasn't born at the start of 182, so he's not getting spawned into the game. And I'm not that interested in Ta'ang, so, like, it wouldn't interfere with any of our plans. Okay, we do it. Um, trade deal. Huh. Pretty picky about this marriage. To the Imperial clan, you demand food as tribute? Liu Bei likes this. That's in oh, Vassal. Right. They have armor, I bet. Wait, what happened here? Oh, I can trade it. It's on someone. Uh, they have bad armor, though. I can make them like us. Some of these we can probably make happen. Okay, anyways, those two trade deals will definitely help. Um, I got a few level ups here. Night battle, thank you. We're looking to get Blade Breaker. But reach first, and then he can properly lead with flexibility as well. And for these two armies, I think we're sailing them down uh, to attack Wang Rei and finish off Liu Biao. Liu Biao has two stacks here. It's okay, that's why we're here. The battle for the capital. Um. You could lead. But not now. Now it's time to fight. He would have the highest capture rate here. Do I want to borrow a horse just to increase the capture rate? Like, capturing Cao would never work for us, but Lady Bien... It's worth a try. Alright, we can't see the percentage because we're not, you know, projected to win, but we know we will win, most likely. And we want a decisive victory here. Anyways, let's go. Oh no, it's raining. Lucky them. Um, hmm. Usually this side is where we go with this type of map. I don't remember if they have any siege weapons on the wall. I don't think so. Yeah, that's a negative. They do have this. We can duel him and kill him. We don't want to duel her. Well, actually, we can. It doesn't matter because, you know, they all have resiliency. It's not like they're going to die. Oh, this is going to waste a lot of shots. Oh, nice.
90%, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, you switch target. I'm gonna use only one more volley on you. The gate's already broken, right? Yep. There we go. Join in the fire here. Okay, we got one hit. We need three more. Oh, okay, pretty accurate. I mean, these are level 10, so... Not bad, not bad. We get this done, have a few shot left, break a wall, and then we'll work from there. These are the... how many of them do they have? They have three. I have Firebomb. Why does it have to rain? But even if it rains, if I firebomb here, I think that's a lot of damage. Come on. Oh my god, we're whiffing here. There we go. Alright, we're gonna try to kill these guys. Hmm, 40% is actually a good number for the first hit, because then there's a chance we can just knock it completely down and kill everyone. Except for how many survived? Two. So those two are gonna stay at perfect morale until they, they completely die. That's okay. They're gonna shift some forces over, which is exactly what we want to see. Hopefully we can kill these two. Don't don't leave this wall. No, they're leaving. It feels like they're leaving. Oh no, he, he's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back. Good. There we go. Alright, one unit gone. Um Hmm. We got the gap that we're going to use. I think the other gap, we're just going to try to kill some of the archers. Even though we're not going to use that gap because of this tower overlap. Ooh, mending. Very nice. That was quick. Alright, if you guys do this accurately, we can we can pull that off. Lady Bin probably shouldn't die, because then Cao will be angry and be harder to kill. I don't think anyone cares about you. Please challenge me? Or else I have to go in there and fight him. Oh no, we didn't get this wall. Oh well. Uh, I can pull her out, but then the heal would kick in. He only has 16k health. Can we snipe him potentially? Oh, he has a bow too. He has Tauren's bow, most likely. Uh, we can juke him. I don't see the arrows in the rain, it's kind of hard to see. But we can tell he's firing. We just have to do something like this. Basically, don't walk the same direction, because they will... Yeah, they realize the arrows. They'll just track your movements. If you go like left, right, left, right, the AI will just try to overshoot your positioning. You'll try to keep shooting this way, and then you juke away. There we go, he's out of shots. Alright, it's my turn. Let's see if I can get some shots on him without him moving. Ah, oh, so much for not moving. Stop. Uh, 
Ah, uh, you missed. He's not moving, but you missed. Come on, your accuracy. Oh, we hit one hit. That hit. One, one K per hit. I'm just not getting that many hits. There we go. Three hits. Four. Oh, that one didn't hit. That one looked like a hit. That one's a hit. No. Wow, how off are you? Alright, we're out of ammo. Alright, we're gonna firebomb some units. And then we might try to get a couple of duels. So I think we wanna firebomb. Protector of Heaven? Question mark? I, I, I'm convinced that this density is better for us to firebomb than in Gamblos. Yeah, Spear Guards. The ones with shields, obviously. Oh no! That could have gone a little bit better. But look how much damage we did. It's like it's so confusing. Sometimes firebomb does nothing, and sometimes it, it, this happens. Okay, I mean we wait for the cooldown. Obviously, I think we get a little bit faster here. No, uh, a little bit slower for the enemy setup. Right, what else can we do here while we wait? We would like to pepper their units with our arrows. New plan. We're gonna have them kill these guys. 14, 9, not that many left. We outrange them. So that's the goal. Slowly shift them up as well. We have a lot of wasted arrows, but as long as we get to kill them, it's all worth it. Any more spear guards? Tingle spear doesn't count. There's two more over there. Is the oil puddle over there as well? I'm curious. Because if they have these, I'm, I'm pretty sure they have oil puddles as well. Are we killing anyone? Yes, we are. We killed a few. Good. Keep shooting then. We're almost ready for the second shot. Maybe we should try to kill these guys. We can do a pretty frontal hit. That way we don't miss like what happened here on the wall. Are we close? Some, I, I guess it's better to use it against infantry. That's a lot of arrows to kill so few units, but these units are just too damaging. We can't let them survive. So aside from these guys, they have Archer Militias. 
what happened there. I'm gonna demoralize them with fire arrows. Ah, smoke screen. I know there's traps on the ground, but they don't hurt that much, so we're just gonna go for it. They're just sitting so tight in the corner that I don't think I can get them. Not worth it. They're back. Oh, here comes the little arrows. It's okay, the turtles are gonna get into position, they'll be fine. You guys know what to do. Yeah, they stop shooting because the turtle's in position. Unbreakable Tingle infantry units. For the next 20 seconds or so, they activated their thing. That just means they're all gonna burn to death. Actually, save ourselves some ammo. Wait till the cavalry gets into position. They're gonna route. Three, two, one. Goodbye. Negative 43 morale. Bye. Alright, they should move another unit up and then we'll let the firing continue. I think we can stop. Ah, Militia's coming back. Yeah, throw the trap, it's fine. Really glad they nerfed that damage. They should route, pretty sure. I don't know if I dare to march inside. That might be a very risky move. I might just wait till they all come over. Move him up closer. I'm gonna harass them a little. No one's coming? Ah, oh, someone's coming. Good. Spear guard's even better. Our archers are terrible against them, but our flaming juggernauts are not. Oh, we have one more shot, too. Yeah, yeah, throw traps, throw traps. What good are shields? 
<laughs> oh my god, we killed a hundred of them, 98 of them, in one breath. Thank you for clumping up. Turtle formation, yeah, good luck. Well, they withstood damage much better than them. Juggernauts are really good. <laughs> what can you say? Yeah, bring out everything you got. We got one more shot on these, and I got 21 more here. Haven't even touched our cavalry yet. We're gonna wipe out the spear, basically. They're gonna march towards us, throw their traps, we'll tank the traps, and then kill them. Yeah, look at that. Traps come over. Goodbye. I'm pretty sure I can make these guys walk off their machines and then just load it onto that with the ammo and then I don't have to move them. Because the ammo is on the unit, not on the machine. You guys still not giving up, huh? Actually, kill these. These are really not worth the, the Juggernaut shots. Back to 21 shots. Perfect. Alright, we gotta line them up. Uh, might be eating a lot of the traps on the ground, but... Should be fine. Are we worried about any interior towers? No. Okay, we can use up all our fire arrows here then. Decent hit, I guess. I'm gonna hit them for the next 10 seconds or so just so that they can route once they're done with the ability. Are they still at 17 morale? Well, they shouldn't soon. Uh, tanking it really well. No one's coming anymore. Our strategy is no longer working. They learned after this happened. I don't know if I dare to go in, though. I'm gonna lure someone over. Good job. I don't want to kill Lady Ben. And make makes Hotel angry. There's no oil? Hmm. Alright, let's take her out of the picture though. And now 
they're just shooting at us. Can I route her? Maybe. I'm making them throw their traps early? That's a small win. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Tozal's gone already. She's enraged. We're going inside. We're gonna buy time for our machines to set up. Cavalry. We missed one. Cavalry. Crossbowmen? Archers? Ah, it's fine. Once a turtle set up, it's, it's all gonna be fine. Yeah, why don't we go this way real quick, and you guys fire at him. Why do we charge in? Okay, he used it. Good. Doesn't have anything useful. Don't have to shut down any abilities. We'll go hunt down archers. You guys are not braced. We'll overpower them with our splash attack. Although they have the unbreakable right yeah for the next 30 seconds. See if we can break through that, just walk past them. We also bumped into the wrong thing. Did we lose our horse? No. Good. 30 seconds, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 5, 4, come on. He's losing. Ooh, that. Hmm. Uh, we have a situation where they didn't line up properly, but we should still be fine. <gasps> we burned our. Own. <laughs> did it? Did it at least heal you? You guys are not friends. Okay, fine. We're just freestyling this now. Avenger Commander, go take their capital. We'll control the situation just straight up. He's hanging on. They're finally charging. Yep, we lost there too, but it's okay. 
victory is at hand. Four. Charge here. Hard reflected on some of them. Oh, now we're just getting killed. That bonus against Cavalry. It's okay. It's a tough fight, but we can win that. We got the numbers advantage. Overwhelm her as well. Get all routing. It's over. And then they were two. Alrighty, so Cao Cao lost his Emperor C. He no longer can recruit Emperor units. If he had, you know, subjects, he would lose them. He didn't have that, I think, so it's fine. Oh, he wasn't... He wasn't rank 4. Oh, dear. Um... I mean, he was a temporary replacement for uh, Huang Fusong anyway, so that's not... An issue, we can have Zhang Lu come out instead of him. Unlucky. Uh, anyways, uh, so things look pretty good overall. I don't mind that. I don't mind that either. He bounced back full health anyways. Uh, faster heal. We'll give him some weapons and items. Uh, he was unhappy sitting on the bench anyways, so we'll, you know, bolster him up from this position. And we have to take Cao Cao's land now because... He can't abdicate to us, but he could become our vassal. That's that's possible too. Especially if we beat him down a lot. See, right now we're not there yet, but I think we can get to there. Or we might just wipe him out. He doesn't have that much land. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to focus on the south one thing at a time. Uh, we'll beat all these factions or territory down. Sun Tzu, Cao Cao, Vang Rei over here. And uh, Mu Lu, I guess we have to fight him now. We have a chance to get his elephant. Uh, it's always nice to try to get his gold elephant. We might move Ludra's item around again. Uh, maybe not this turn because they can't get there anyways. Uh, we'll come back and maybe reset it on uh, Yu Jin, who also have patience. And that way we can capture for the gold elephant. And uh, then turn around and fight Liu Bei, who's still our best friend at this point. They're loving us more than our vassals, uh, which is our buffer zone here. And then once we turn on him, which should be quite simple, his capital is really close, uh, we should just end this campaign. So there shouldn't be that many episodes going forward. And hopefully you guys enjoy this one, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!